viral makeup is what we're talking about today i have two foundations that i'm going to be trying on for you and doing a wear test for you and you will see how this held up throughout the day in a few hours this is what um, each makeup looks like i'm trying one on this side and one on this side and i'm really excited to get into that video with you right now All right, so the two foundations are the L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear on this side. This is one that everybody went crazy for when they were wearing masks because they said it was transfer proof. And I'm not gonna be wearing a mask today, but my day goes through the ringer with puppies and cleaning the house and all those things. So you will get to see in a few hours, it probably won't be like a full like 14 hour wear test, but I'm hoping to get a five to seven hour wear test in on it. So I will let you know about that. And then the Good Apple Foundation that is from KVD Beauty. And I'm really excited about this one because this one is one that everybody's been raving about. Is it going to be good on our aging skin or not? Is it good for mature skin? And that is what I'm going to be telling you in just a second. You're going to see me partway through my face and my eyes and all that. We're going to be trying both of these on so you can see what the consistency of them is. And we can get into that video right this second begin the test i already have my eyes partially done i'm working on two tutorials here for you guys so i'm going to spray my sponge with some max fix plus which is what i always do when i'm doing foundation and i'm doing it with a sponge this time not a brush however i am going to employ the last video i showed you on foundations which is let's put our primer on first Remember I had that lovely, lovely Wayne Goss technique that he showed and it just works so well. So if you haven't seen that, I'll make sure that I link it down below. So that was the Poreless Putty Primer from e.l.f. I don't think I said that. And I'm just pressing that into my skin. Now I'm gonna use my Pixie by Petra Under Eye Corrector. This one is in Brightening Peach and I'm just going to brighten up this area a little bit. I'm not going to brighten up any other area other than underneath my eyes. Usually I do it all over my age spots and my scarring, but today we're just going to walk on the wild side. <laughs> And we're just going to do a little bit there underneath the eyes. If you haven't watched that video, please don't freak out. We're going to take it off the charts here. This is the Milani Prep Set and Glow Powder. I'm going to go into it and I'm going to completely dust my whole face, my bare face. Yes, this is before foundation. My bare face and I'm going to just completely go over everything okay the first one we have up is from l'oreal this is one that everybody's been talking about doesn't transfer for masks and i had tried this before but i'm giving it another shot because i see it all the time on tiktok so this one is 450 and i believe this is a beige rose i'm taking one pump that's it and i'm going to take my sponge that is a wet damp sponge but it's wrung out into a towel as well and then i'm just going to dot this on this side and we are going to see what we come up with and if we have foundation that looks fantastic all day or not and i'm just going to start to bounce my beauty blender or my sponge it's not a beauty blender all over my face just like you normally would with any foundation and i am liking this so far it's covering like about a medium coverage, light to medium coverage, which I like lately. I've really kind of been enjoying having a little bit less foundation on because it shows through my skin and it's summertime and don't like that really heavy look or that heavy feel. So that is one coat and I do like it, but I'm still noticing a lot of discoloration right through here. Um, it's covering well but it's not covering as well as I need it to. So I'm just gonna take what's left, it's on my sponge now, and I'm gonna just kinda go over those areas only that I feel like need that extra love. This is feeling really good. I remember the first time that I used it, it got so blotchy so quick on me through the day that that's what the problem was. And I didn't feel like I really enjoyed the coverage. I guess maybe my Tastes have changed as far as that goes. Normally, I would be wearing a little bit of color corrector all over these places that don't cover so well with foundations, but I wanted you to be able to see it. I'm gonna turn down the light just a little bit. Okay, it has pretty good coverage. I would say this is a medium coverage. 
and it's really not settling into any places. It's a little bit warm in my bedroom today, so I'm feeling a little bit sweaty, but it does cover really well, except for right through here. Even my age spots that are back through here that are usually pretty pronounced, it's covering those pretty well. So I'm just gonna continue to work with it. This one, we're gonna find out in a few hours whether or not it's a yes. So we're gonna find that out in a few hours. So I'm gonna just continue to do this and then we'll be back for the other side with the KVD Apple Foundation. Okay, I turned my lights back up. What I have is two different colors because the colors mixed are better than just having the ones. So I have light 018 and I have medium 048. So this is an extremely balmy, formula. It is like a cake makeup or a pan makeup. Uh, I will say that it's much more emollient than any pan makeup or cake makeup that we used to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my sponge and I'm going to dip into both of them to get a good color. You don't need a lot on this, really seriously. If you dip in once and you just use that, really it's going to just do fine. This is amazing makeup. Uh, this is not the first time I've tried it. Actually, it's not the first time I tried the other one either, but wow, this covers so well. And what I found that for aging skin, because this has so much hydration and it's just a little bit more emollient, it works really well for my skin and it covers even the, that area through there, it's going to cover it so, so good. And work with your smaller amount first and then go back in. Seriously, just take and just dab it a tiny bit into the makeup and then go in on your skin. It's so concentrated that you're going to find that if you get too much, then you are going to have some settling and you don't want to do that. But wow, this stuff covers, I'm sorry, I got my mirror in the way. This stuff covers so, so good. It's so pretty. I just can't believe it. But I think why this makes it so pretty for somebody our age, you know, over 40, over 35, is because it has that hydrating property in it. And it's just so nice. So I'm gonna take the other end of the sponge, I'm gonna very, very lightly just take a little bit and I'm gonna go into that under eye. And it does work good for concealer as well. So you got one step instead of two. The only thing is, since it's so emollient, you will need to set this down with some setting spray or some powder, whichever you prefer. But look at that. Isn't it pretty? Oh my goodness. Again, I'm going to turn that light down. It's just gorgeous. It covers everything on there. All my age spots that I have back here that are really, really bad, it covered those. And it covered this discoloration in here and my dark circles. Turn the light back up. So since it did such a good job with my dark circles, I'm going to do it on the other eye as well. And it's going to take out that discoloration right here, which is what I would do with a concealer anyways. Just bring that down onto that cheek where that discoloration coloration wasn't covered by the L'Oreal Infallible. Of the two foundations, before I go and get the rest of my makeup on, this one is like a light to medium coverage on the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear. And then this one over here is a full coverage. This one is a very light foundation. It's a very thin formula foundation. It's not a thick cream or anything like that. And of course, this is a balm-like one. Which two do I like the best? I'm going to tell you that I like this one better because I know already that it does wear through the day, but we're going to do a check-in in about four hours so you can see. Now let's go get the rest of the face done through the magic of YouTube video. Hey, hey, this is the finished foundation look. I have all the rest of my makeup on and I did not put any powder on because I wanted to wait until I was on camera with you guys. But isn't it beautiful how it covers even the Kat Von D in this area right here? Not Kat Von D. KVD Beauty. That balm was in this area right here and it's just looking great. So now I'm going to do just a tiny bit of powder. Powder is one of those things that we all go, ooh, powder, no powder. <laughs> but I'm going to be doing it with my very, very favorite Becca Light Shifter Powder. That doesn't act like powder. And yes, I'm really digging in there. I'm really, really digging in there to try and get a lot on my brush because I never feel like I get some on my brush. But this is so perfecting and it's going to really help. Now, this is what I would do any day, normal day on all of my powders is go into these areas where I want my pores blurred 
And so I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to take this Charlotte Tilbury setting spray because it's the only one I have here. So I'm just going to spray that real quick. And I'm just going to lightly tap it all over just to set it a little bit more. So it all kind of stays in place and looks gorgeous for the day. This is how I always do my foundations. And it just seems to work out so well for me. So I'm hoping to get a check in at about five to seven hours, something like that. So I will let you know and we will be back and we'll be able to look at it. And thanks guys so much for spending some of your time with me. Okay, friends. So I did put a little bit of lip gloss on to come on camera. This is about, I would say six, almost seven hours of wear. And so I just wanted to show you, it does kind of eventually show through my um, dark spots and um, my scarring a little bit through here, but it looks really good through here. It looks really good. No settling in the nose area. No settling in the chin area. Now, I will say don't look up my chin today because <laughs> I'm having a major slough for my Retin-A. So this is a little bit modeled right through here. That's not normal for me. I normally have, and you might not be able to see it. Let me turn my lights down just a tiny bit. So I normally don't have like a little bit of, you know, kind of texture through here but this is really sloughing right in through here right now but the rest of it i am really pleased i'm really really pleased the fresh wear still looks really good the um good apple it looks really good as well i just i'm really pleased with both of these foundations i think that they're really good for mature skin the one the fresh wear it was more of a medium coverage this one the good apple is more of a full coverage but both of them felt really good on my dry skin they both felt really hydrating, not drying. So all in all, I would say that I'm really excited about it. And I used the Good Apple as my concealer. And oh my gosh, that is still so nice. And there's no like really creasing or anything down there. And wow, I really like that. But I think the trick is using just a little tiny bit as you can. And I think that's really the trick in using it. So yeah, all in all, I was really happy with both of them. So I hope that you did enjoy today's video. Give it a thumbs up on your way out of here if you did. And let me know if you have tried either one of these and I would love to hear from you. So take care of yourselves. Love you very much. And I'll catch you in my next video. Bye friends.